everybody, I'm Lauren Kennedy Brady and I'm here talking with my friend Jenny Latimer who is the director of Into the Breaches which opens next week. Jenny, mm -hmm. tell me about Into the Breaches and why it's such an important and fun story to be telling right now. Yeah, so Into the Breaches is about um, a group of women during World War II who decide to um, continue the local Shakespeare theater and continue doing their shows with women because all the men are off at war. And um, it's set in Raleigh. <laughs> yes, um, the writer actually made it so you could set it wherever it is. I so you're going to hear about Lizard Lick yes. and Raleigh and Fuquay Farina. Yes, You'll hear absolutely. all those things come through. Um, and it's really, I mean, right now it's so important because we've just spent a year at war with a virus, right? We may not have been at war with an Axis, but we've all had to come together and get creative to create art or to find closeness and to, you know, celebrate our loved ones in different ways. And so it's great to see this show about women who come and persevere and get together and, you know, have to get really actually more creative because you know scarcity breeds creativity and that's what happens in this show and but it's also a screwball comedy with a ton you know you're crying one second you're laughing the next it's really smartly written and uh, you kind of get all the feels all I the love time. it yeah it's got that Rosie the Riveter kind of like we will we will, the show must go on I yes. guess I should say yes tell us a little bit about the title if people don't know Shakespeare what would you have to say about what the wordplay of the title well I mean into the breaches is the classic into the breaches uh -huh. into the war right yeah. but it's also about women who are um, taking men's or male <laughs> literally roles putting on so pants. they're literally putting on <laughs> breeches or breeches yeah. yes so that's I the wordplay of that it's super smart it's yeah so well what do you want the audience to walk away from when they experience the show you know, there's this great line, and not to really give away anything, but I've been thinking about it a lot, where there's a character that says um, to someone in the show, I have blood to share. Will you refuse my blood? And I think about that a lot as, as humans, how much we have to share and offer, and how oftentimes, because we may not fit in somewhere, or we're different than someone may expect, that our blood is refused, mm. and that our contributions may be refused. And everyone is so desperate to really be a part of something and to and, and to give themselves. And so really I think this show is about accepting everyone's blood, accepting everyone and allowing everyone to contribute how they may in a common cause. I love that. I mean, and we couldn't be doing the show in a more perfect time. The reawakening of our country yes. and the world after yes. the pandemic yeah. and also everything that we've been through as a country this mm -hmm. year in terms of acceptance and equity and diversity so I think that's a beautiful theme yeah I also think it's beautiful because you've kept this art center going <laughs> during this crazy we time art but it's true but this show was written um, George Brandt who wrote it who's amazing uh, his wife is the artistic director of Cleveland Playhouse in Ohio and that theater did not go dark during the war because the women's committee came together and made sure it did not because they knew how important art was for the community and so when I see artists who are keeping things going and you know even if it's so hard to get everyone social distancing and you know changing your HVAC or whatnot <laughs> to make sure that you know that continues and yeah. we don't let it die because it becomes difficult. Yeah, because not only do we as artists need it so much, it's our life's blood, to yeah. take your analogy, but it, the audience is needed too. Oh, totally. I mean, and something yes. that was so important during the war was everybody went to the movies, everybody yes. went to see entertainment. You needed it. You need it so desperately because yeah. we also want to sit and breathe with each other and like all laugh together yes. and all have an experience together versus being isolated at home on our phones or computers, even though we may think we like that yes. the most. But like you said earlier, I've heard you um, quote it before, the common cause. Yeah. These women come together with one singular purpose. I yeah. love it. Yeah. You guys, come see Into the Breaches. Into it's the like a league of their own for theater. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Thank you.